this uh, British Vogue cover of Kate Moss. Um, I absolutely love this cover. Um, the spread as well is amazing. Just look at that. So today I decided to try that look out. Um, I already did it once, but then my uh, lighting was bad. And now I'm trying a new camera. It's like this look, it either goes really good or really bad. So this is the second time doing it, and I so much hope that this camera is picking, thing, uh, picking everything good up. Like right now, I just have to put it on focus myself. So when I'm like too close, I'm out of focus, when I'm too far away. Uh, Okay. So if you want to know how does this look, then please keep on watching. So the first thing you want to do is apply a base to your eyelids to prevent the eyeshadow from creasing. And the one I'm using is the MAC Paint Pot in Soft Ogre. The first color I'm going to take is Max Cork, and we're going to apply that to as like sort of a winged eyeliner. What I'm going to do is, where's my powder puff? Where, where is my, where is my powder puff? And I'm going to start applying a line underneath my eye just like that and then I'm gonna follow that waterline so I'm gonna go out a bit and then from that point just like an eyeliner I'm gonna go back onto the lid and in the crease for a little bit of definition and right now it looks really harsh but you're gonna blend that out later on and I'm gonna blend it out till it's really soft and just just like a soft shadow of the eye for just a little bit of definition. But you definitely want that like lift to the eye, just that like a little wing. You wanna keep that in there. With a big blending brush and Maximoa Silk Eyeshadow, I'm just gonna take some on that brush and I'm just gonna softly apply that to the lid for some warmth. And also put that in the crease if you like. Then apply Samoa Silk to the lower lash line as well. This will add such a lovely like warmth to the eye. And then take some cork again and make it a little bit darker. Then take that big blending brush again and just blend it all until it's soft and pretty. Okay, now I'm just going to curl my lashes with this Japanese eyelash curler and apply some waterproof mascara to my top lashes only. And the mascara I'm using is the Makeup Studio Water Resistant Volume Mascara. I absolutely love that one. So I'm going to do that to my lashes and then I will... Yeah. So I just forgot to press record. But what I'm doing is the lips were just a little bit like a deep in red. And for that I'm going to use Max Brick Lip Pencil. And I'm just going to fill in my entire mouth with that so just first align it and then fill it in you've done that I'm gonna go on top with the lipstick and this is max red so just take a lip brush and just put that on top now Elizabeth Arden 8 hour cream is like heaven in the industry it is perfect for like conditioning your lips uh, put that like wet shine on your face um, it makes, when you put it on an eye, it makes your eye um, really like that wet, sweaty feeling. So to get that amazing shine on the lips today, I'm going to use the Elizabeth Arden 8 Hour Cream. I think I match pretty good. So yeah, that completes this Kate Moss British Vogue cover inspired look. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, for a full list of all products used, go to my website, newtutorials.com. Um, I tried out a new camera today. Let me know what you think. Uh, this is my like photo camera. This is the one I always use for my for my photos. So um, 
I hope you like it. If you don't, let me know as well because then I'm going back to my old camera. But uh, thank you guys so much for watching. I love you and uh, hopefully I will see you guys next time.